Okay, so I'll be honest, I don't use this much the open and editor, but I've seen a few people do it, so I'm going to try to walk through it with you. So it's firing up the editor for the first time, meaning I can chop out parts, like things that I messed up and realized, oops, I was rambling a little too much. So that's what we're going to do right here. So if you want to go through the edit screen, add your products, projects, make time, edit, it's in the timeline, cut, crop, zoom, and more, download your finished product, and let's get editing. So I know for a fact that I didn't actually start talking till I was a little further in. So I want to crop this out. I would click on that area and I click delete. Again, I didn't like the way this ended, so I want to crop this out. Click on that area and delete. When I'm done, I can click export, MP4 or Google Drive, either way. Most of the time I put it in my Google Drive then I download it from Drive and send it to YouTube, but it's whatever you prefer. Uh, let's go export to Google Drive, name it something else. Um, edited practice screencast. And save. It's processing my video. I can share it too. But let's go see what's going on in reality. So I could click share like you would normally share a Google Drive document, which is great. So just share it with the same people like Rochelle and you can make them an editor, great. But let's go see where are these files actually saved. Let's go to Drive. Hey look, I have a folder in Google Drive called Screencastify. I double click on it and there's my screencasts. They're already in Screencastify in that folder there. Also, if I come to a Screencastify screen up here at the top and click on the extension and I can click right sorry, here and view my recording. So it also saves them on the Screencastify website.